Welcome to Dynamics AX video tutorials. I'm Jivan Anthony Louis and we are looking at AX 2012 production. In the last video you have seen how to create an item in AX 2012 and the properties that have to be set. So in this tutorial we will be looking at creating a simple bomb. To start off this tutorial consists of uh, the calculation group setups, cost group setups, costing sheet setup, creating a bomb, bomb line setups, create bomb versions, approve and activate bomb, finish good price calculation and setups overview. The FG price calculation in this scenario only consists of the raw materials. So we will see how to derive at the finished good price. So as we have seen in the previous video that I'll be taking pen as an example. So we have here a ballpoint pen broken up into its sub parts where the main pen is of type production order and the other parts are of type purchase for a simple bomb. This is how it is being structured as. So let's start with the creation of bomb. In the introduction video, we have seen how to create an item in AX2012. So following those instructions, I have created the following items for each of the subparts and for the finish code as a ballpoint pen. And for the body A, B and the ballpoint pen, I have given a dimension group with color activated for it. And the others do not have any dimension selected or the dimension groups activated for them. In other words, the first three items that you see are product masters and the others are products. And if you notice the first ballpoint pen is of type production. And the others have to be of type purchase order. Now to create a simple bomb, Select the finished good item, go to the engineering tab, click on lines, click on create bomb. If you have activated the number sequences for the bomb, you will not be able to enter the bomb number here, whereas you can enter the description. So let's say pen bomb 1, select the site, click OK. You see a bomb is created. Now here, you can mention that this particular bomb is for a particular color. Let's say it's for the blue. And up to from which date to which date the bomb is active, where the production order would automatically select the uh, bomb for the given date range. And you can mention the from quantity and the active and the approved suggest that the activation and the approval. So let's create a bomb line. To create a bomb line, select the area here. You can create, click on new or click the down arrow once you have created a new line. Click on the item number. So let's take the pen body A and we say color blue. Quantity 1 from a particular warehouse level. Okay. And what does this resource consumption do? So we will come into this when we are doing the routes, which is linked to the operation and the resources linked for a particular route. And per series. So this suggests that you need one unit to create one pen. If we change the quantity of the per series, let's say we are making it 10, that means for 10 pen, we need one of the pen body A. The unit pieces, the configuration group, we will look into this when we are doing complex bombs, which is used for bomb configuration. In the general, the main fields required are the operation number, which is again, we will look into it when we are doing the route, how it is linked.
we have the constant and variable scrap which we'll look into when we're handling scrap and then the dimensions so this is a creating a simple form line similarly let's create the other raw materials or the other sub parts for the pen so once we have added all the parts this is how it looks like with all the items being added to the bomb and next step is to approve and activate the bomb click on approval of materials click ok and activate similarly you can create different bomb versions for different requirements now we have looked into creating a simple bomb the next thing that we need to look at is how to do a bomb calculation to calculate the finished good cost which sums up the cost of all the sub items for that the first thing to do is to create the price list for each of these items to create a price for each of the sub items select an item go to manage costs go to item price and click new to create a price you have to select a version to create a version right click go to view and if you have seen there is a standard cost version that is being created which is obsolete it is past the due date and we have a new one here you can create a new costing version by clicking new select standard cost let's say pen again say blocking no blocking activation no and save so now we have a new costing version you can activate purchase price cost price sales price and calculate the production on the purchase order price calculation the purchase price model can be the trade agreement or the item purchase price and the profit setting to calculate the sales price select the created costing version select the site and give it a price and save by pressing ctrl s and click on activate so we have created a cost price for pen body a of 10 USD now similarly create the price for all the sub parts now for particular items like A and B where we have different variants we can set up price for each variant that is the cost price how do you do that double click on the item click on edit and move to manage cost fast tab and you have used cost price by variant by checking this AX allows you to create an item price for each variant I have maintained a price of 10 but you can define different prices for different colors so once we have set up all the prices the next thing is to create a calculation group how do you create a calculation group right click go to view details we have created new item calculation group say pen pen cost price model is item cost price alternate cost price you can have the items purchase price or the trade agreement price so it checks on the latest trade agreement or the for the date range and it picks up the trade agreement value or the inventory price if you're having a weighted average method of costing it takes the inventory price to take the current price for price calculation so let us go since we are going for standard cost price let's go for item cost price the sales price model is selected as cost group where we put the profit percentage in the cost group 
and we have a choice of warnings so you can say when there's no bomb during price calculation to give a warning similarly no route no resource no consumption the cost price and this suggests that up to how many days is this cost price valid in the system so you can say for the next month so for one month, 30 days, this cost price is valid from the time it's been activated. And the minimum contribution margin is with respect to calculating the sales price. So once we have set up this, let's say close. And ensure that all the items for the pen have the calculation group, including the finished good item. Once you have associated the calculation group to each of the item, now we can run a bomb calculation to check for the calculated finished good cost price for the ballpoint pen. So select the ballpoint pen, go to manage cost, item price, click on calculation, select the costing version pen, the color blue, site 1. So if you notice uh, the default route has not come since we have not associated a route yet. And we say OK. You can look at other setups such as record cost price and charges, record sales price and charges. With the warnings, which is which can be overridden on the calculation group that we have given. Identify missing updates. And you can run a batch job to calculate the price once in every month automatically. So now we click OK. You notice there's an error here. That is, there's no route associated. And the overheads, they are not being associated. That is, the cost groups are not being associated. We'll look into it in the costing sheet setup further in the same tutorial. Click Close. Now, if you notice, AXS created two lines, one for the cost price and one for the sales price. Since we have not done any profit setting and we have not associated cost groups, we'll look that in a while. There is no sales price calculated, the same as the cost price. So let's select the cost price, go to complete. You have noticed here, AX is very well calculated with all the subparts and the overheads and the route also will be included. Look into it in the next video. Click close and you can activate the price. So we have an activated cost price of 99 USD for the pen. Now moving on to the next setup, which is called as the cost group setup, wherein we can define the profit percentage to arrive at the sales price and also use the cost group to have uh, a structured way of representing the item breakup by doing a costing sheet setup. So the first step is to create a cost group and associate it to the items. Go to manage costs, click on edit, right click on cost group, go to view details. So we create a new, so let's say pen material. Cost group type direct materials. Behavior is fixed costs. And let's give a profit of 20. Control S, save it. And now we close it. Now associate this cost group to all the raw materials or the subparts that we have created. Once you have associated the cost group, to all the items that is the raw materials or the subparts for a pen we run the bomb calculation again so go to the ballpoint pen and click on calculation click on the costing version pen the color blue site as one click ok the same error since there's no route and there's no watch group allocation for the overheads close now you'll notice that it has created the sales price for blue as we selected and uh, if you notice 
the previous sales price that we had created was same as the cost price and this time it's 118. It's simply because on the cost group we had given a profit percentage. So go to complete and you will see the calculated uh, sales price for each item. The cost price is 10, calculated sales price is 12 since it's 20% profit. Similarly for each of the sub parts and you will notice that the total sales price is 118. So we close this and we activate it. So this completes the cost group and uh, cost finish code calculation setup. Next thing we'll look into is uh, costing sheet setup wherein we can group these cost groups and give an overhead calculation to calculate overheads and to give uh, the finished good cost for material and material overheads. To set up a costing sheet, go to Inventory Management, Costing Sheets. In the costing sheet, you can see Standard AX has already set up a format. So let's add our pen categories here. So click on material cost, create cost group, okay, enter it as pen material, cost group as pen material, click on save. Now we can have a material overhead, material cost that is already being associated and we can also give a costing version to it. Let's say 10. If you do not mention site, it is applicable to all sites. Similarly for the labor overheads, we are not yet uh, looked into it. We we'll look into it in the routes in the next uh, video. Plant overheads again for the material cost. We select pen again and give it let's say five percent and validate. Costing sheet is okay, so we save close and activate so now we can close go back to our ballpoint pen go to manage costs item price run the calculation Click OK. So you see now the error message is only that there is no active route version. If you notice the sales price and the cost price has changed from 99 and 118 to 133 and 113. So 20% of 113 is 133 is what it has calculated the sales price. And let's look into the cost price breakup. So the cost price breakup would look like this and uh, if you notice here the material overhead and the plant overhead is being added here. Now if you go to the costing sheet you will see it uh, in a much better way that the overheads are being split up here where we have the indirect costs and we have cost of material here and you can have a total view here and a break, uh, breakup of the, each of the sub sections in a costing sheet can be viewed here. So in this tutorial we have covered all the basic requirements of calculating the finished good price and bomb setups and bomb versions. I hope this was helpful and thank you very much.